Tonight, a photo radar company locked in a legal battle with a valley city and money's at the root of it. Free TV's Jared Dillingham is live in Tempe with this new kind of photo radar controversy. Jared? Hi, Bev. Yeah, the city of Tempe is being sued by Redflex, the company that operates all the photo radar cameras. And it turns out Redflex wants more of a cut of the profits from the photo radar tickets. Photo radar cameras have been flashing for three years in Tempe. They've been targeted by protesters from Santa's covering the cameras with sacks to the Easter Bunny covering them with eggs. And through it all, the city and Red Flex remained united, insisting the cameras are here for safety, not profit. The technology really does a wonderful job in making all of us more attentive as we drive. But now court documents reveal Red Flex and Tempe have been bickering over photo radar profits for months. And here's why. Speeders caught on camera are told they have two options. Option one, they can pay a $200 fine and receive points on their license. Or option number two, they can take a driver safety course instead and avoid the fine and avoid the points on their license. Well, Redflex has a problem with option two because when people choose the driving class, Redflex doesn't get a cut of the class fee. And they want one. It, there's no honor among thieves. Uh, Sean Dow of CameraFraud.com says money has, has always been the motivator behind the cameras, and he believes the city and Red Flex have now turned on each other at taxpayer expense. Well, it's going to cost the taxpayers the most money because they're going to have to pay for those city attorneys to defend themselves against a company that you know the the town got in bed, the city got in bed with. You know, you lie down with dogs, you come up with fleas. And because the whole thing is now in the hands of the courts, neither the city nor Redflex would comment for our story. We do know Redflex is seeking more than $1 million from Tempe. Live in Tempe, Jared Dillingham, 3TV.